Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the snipping tool built into Windows in order to take screenshots of your computer. So I've been personally using the snipping tool for many, many years now and it's been in every version of Windows since Windows Vista and I thought I would just make a brief tutorial today just in case you guys didn't know because it is a tool that I use very regularly and it has a lot of benefits and nice features added into it. So to access this snipping tool it's very simple you would just go on to our start menu and then just type in snipping tool. So the icon will have a little circle with a red board around it and a pair of scissors. So you want to left click on it. So this tool might look very simple, but there are several different features that are included within it. And there is one feature only available to Windows 10 users. That's kind of cool. So to jump right into it, under New, this is where you can select a new snipping. This is where you can snip a section of your screen. So if you look on this little drop down arrow, we can select four different types of snips. A free form snip, that'll basically create any free forming shape. So if I select that, we can create any random shape on the screen. If I selected a rectangular snip, it'll come in the shape of a rectangle. A window snip would take a screenshot of a specific web browser page or dialog box. So for example, I opened up File Explorer here, which will open up a new window. And then with the snipping tool, I have it set on Windows Snip. I can just left click on this window. And we have a screenshot of this specific window, which is a very nice feature if you're doing troubleshooting tutorials or if you just want to take a screenshot of a certain segment of the page. And then lastly here, we have the full screen snip, which will just take a screenshot of the full screen very similar in function to the print screen button on your keyboard or at least on most keyboards. So now that we got the basic functionality out of the way we can go a little bit deeper into some of the settings. So there's also a delay feature so if you wanted to delay the screen snipping for a few moments if you wanted to launch a certain web page. So let's say for example I wanted to set it for three and then I click on new it'll wait three seconds before it sets the screen to be ready to be snipped. I believe this is a new feature within Windows 10. I don't think you can get this in earlier versions of Windows. Then you also have the Options button. And this is where we can actually change a selection border around our screenshot. So if you wanted to have a red or blue or green or any one of these color borders around our screenshot, you could select them here. So on Windows Vista, I believe it actually is set by default to use a red border. And it's very easy to disable that as well. So we actually did a new screenshot here. And we currently have it set at delayed at three seconds. So if I did another rectangular shape, we have different options up here in order to edit our picture. We could save the image directly to a file or folder, or you could save it by default to the pictures folder and then if you wanted to change it to an email or something you could very well do that. We could save the snip. We can copy the image so it'll be saved on our clipboard and then if we wanted to open up Word or something like that we could paste it in. If you have an email client set up on your computer you could send the snip via email. And then I accidentally just clicked on the pen tool which I guess is a good segue into our next feature which is you can select different pen colors to draw onto the image. And if you customize it, you can also select different thicknesses and tip sizes in order to create the best image you can. So you kind of have some paint features built in. You also have the highlighting tool, so you can just highlight over the picture. And then you also have the eraser, which will erase the selection. So if I just left click on any part of that highlighting tool I just did, it'll delete the entire segment of it. And then if I left click on the blue line I created earlier with the pen, it'll delete that as well. So if you edit it, if you go up to the top tools here, if you click on edit, again you can copy the image, file, you create a new snip, 
you could save it as a file name and save it to the desktop or something like that. You also have the ability to print this file out if you have a printer set up. So that's just about it. Um, if you go underneath tools, we pretty much covered all the options here. And if you actually go underneath pen, you can pick different colored pens as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. So you have a lot of different customization options within the small little tool. And it is a very nice feature to have. And if you can use it, that'd be great. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.